Dean, Barnet take on Dagenham and Redbridge tomorrow in the Vanarama National League. How's the feeling amongst the camp? Yeah, we're looking forward to the game. Tough place to go. Um, it always is for any team that goes there. And uh, they're off the back of an excellent victory last week. So um, we're under no illusions how tough the game's going to be. But we're looking forward to the challenge. Amazing. And how's your team prepared since our draw up against Solihull? A good point for you, that was. Yeah, good result. Positive result. Uh, excellent performance. Uh, probably not the result we deserved. Thought we deserved to win the game. But we move on to the next. We've gone through it on Tuesday morning. We've been in all week. Uh, the boys' attitude's been spot on. And we still want to keep improving. You can improve on every performance. So um, hopefully we can make them appro- improvements tomorrow. And, um, and go there. And we'll take the game again to Dagenham like we always do. I know they'll take the game to us. I can see it again, actually. Two very attack-minded teams. Um, Dagenham play sort of with three out and out centre forwards in uh, McCallum, Walker and, and Junior Maria. So it's gonna it'll be an entertaining game. They'll play with two wing backs that are wingers. So uh, there's no doubt uh, they've had a lot of entertainment in their games and the games I watch back they've been quite exciting. I've been watching you on the training pitch the last couple of days. Anything in particular you've been working on with your team? Yeah, more goals. <laughs> uh, trying to penetrate the opposition and look once we keep creating chances, goals will come. That's that's just the way it is we've worked on a lot of finishing this week um, we want to get back to clean sheets as well I think that's important clean sheets for me is what brings success so we'd like to do that too um, so yeah we've been working mainly on both boxes tell me two away games back to back does that have much of an impact on your team on your squad or is it really just another fixture just another fixture I don't look like that he's going for today <laughs> live for today look yeah. forward to tomorrow and just learn from yesterday that's always been my motto in life and uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to it. The pitch is usually good there as well. So, you know, the biggest thing for us is we we got uh, where we left off last week. We have got to continue that that sort of what we're saying. But we know it's not going to be easy because they're going to try to get our air frailties, and we have got frailties, but so they. So, um, and I think it'll be a really entertaining game. Get ourselves on the front foot, and you know, you've got to earn the right to win football matches, and we keep that attitude and application. We will continue to be involved in some good football matches, and hopefully, we can pick up three points. Are you? With any injuries fresh from last week, uh, I know Idris went off um, uh, after coming on, um, and he was he was limping around. How how's Idris? How's the rest of the squad? Idris on international duty. Um, obviously Dan Powell's still out with his calf. Uh, Jordan Thomas has picked up a niggle in, in his knee. It looks like it's a bit of a meniscus job, so we're trying for a scan on that. We know Loz is long term, yeah. and then uh, everyone else is really available. We've got uh, Sam Woods and Keen Flanagan, who both of their loans will end on Tuesday. Both of them will come back into the group. They've had sort of their pre season game time down at Chesant, so we thank Chesant for that. Um, and I think it's worked out well for both clubs. Um, so yeah, so the squad should get stronger next week. Uh, hopefully we get a few people back. Hopefully Idris comes back from international duty nice and bright. He's playing today actually as we speak. I think he's playing right now. They're playing South Africa. And they have another game I think Monday. So um, yeah, he's, he'll be an important player for us. But I thought one thing Idris did really well, which we spoke about last week, he ran in behind without the ball, which we got Efron to do previously. Yeah. Penetrating runs um, as, a, as a wide f- uh, forward. So um, we'll want more of that when he comes back. So, But someone else gets an opportunity. People like Hawley, um, Shieldy, keep himself in the team so um, hopefully they'll come in and they'll grab it with both hands Anyone from outside of the squad on the cards potentially to come in? New striker you've mentioned publicly yeah, in the past which we, We've inquired about two this week they've both been rejected I think the CFL trophy and these kind of competitions with uh, league clubs they're going to they want to keep the players around so uh, funny enough you look at a lot of the EFL sides and they've got a lot a lot of players especially forward wise we're still in the market for a forward but we'll only do it with, with the right player so uh, got to make sure it fits the bill for us for sure Dean thanks so much